Well, everyone, it's finally time to do a lithium iron phosphate upgrade of this Razor scooter that I got. We're also going to see if it even works. So a while ago, I had somebody contact me on Craigslist asking me to 3D print something, and it was a simple little 3D print. So was, sure, 10 bucks, or maybe bring over some electronic stuff that I can trade. And they brought over $10 and they filled up the back of their car with stuff. They found this on the side of the highway and they had collected it thinking they might fix it for their kid, but they just never got around to it. So now it's my time to get around to it. Lightime sent me some batteries that I plan to use with this. They sent me these a while ago and I've used these for tons of things. I actually had to desolder a bunch of connectors from them just because I, I keep using them. This one had been my main battery for my JVC camera. The other one I'm keeping because I use that as a a, a data save battery on my amp meter. And then this one was just a one that I put a generic five millimeter jack on. And I've used that for powering everything from my microscope light to fans and everything. And also this is gonna be the last video that this is in. This battery, after five tests, it is now going to my friends. He's gonna be using it in his solar panel setup. And so, I'm really happy that I'm able to do this kind of stuff because I can help my friends build out their battery system. And once we get bored with this, if we get it fully fixed up, maybe I can put that on Craigslist, sell it for a good price to somebody and their kid can really enjoy it. But that only works if we get it working. This battery was pretty well charged at 13.3 volts. This one was at 13.1 volts. So I just have it connected up in parallel with the big battery and it's slowly trickle charging. You can do this with lithium iron phosphate batteries and a lot of other batteries, as long as they're not 0% to 100%. Although to be honest, the most you'll do is usually just heat up your cables if the batteries are small. Now in this case, I know it's a bit of a big battery, small battery situation, but it still seems to only pull maybe two amps or so because it's such a small voltage difference. And, uh, oh yeah, another thing I wanted to say was, this is the kind of thing that I, that I want to be doing a lot of in my repair shop that I'm opening in the, the building behind this one, because I figure there's a lot of stuff that I can restore. And there's a lot of stuff that I can use collaborations with companies to not have to buy the products for, but just make a video. And then I can sell this stuff for super cheap and people can like them and uh, they can get more use and stuff like that. And that sounds like kind of a, a usable business. exactly what I wanted to see. That's gonna be so easy to replace those. They should fit right in. Now I'm just gonna take some engine oil and put it on that chain. Oh yeah, 0.3 of a volt. These are fully dead. 0.25 of a volt, yeah. So those are most likely the issue. Oh, that was stupid. Just 
just gonna put a little bit of burn gel on. Not much I can really do about it though. Pushed it forward, stepped on it, and then pushed it back, and... Okay, that's 20 PSI. This feels like something from 2009. Okay, I'm quickly reminded that it is made for kids and preteens and maybe up to like 15 or so. So uh, not great compared to other things made for adults, but oh well. I'll probably be able to hassle a company to send me another really nice scooter. Like that, that Hobsco one that I had a while ago. I ended up selling that for pennies to a friend of ours to be her first vehicle. Although she really has her, her heart set on a car, but it's like, oh no, like a good transportation that doesn't cost money with insurance is really important right now because automobiles, I know they're a spectacle, but oh man, living in such a walkable area, you probably don't need that. Before I button this thing up, I just want to see. Can we see what kind of motor controller that is? Well, that's enough to get the information at least. Oh, the brakes on the left. Ah! Wow, I just now realized the brake is on the left hand side. So you really can't do this one handed at all. <laughs> so no filming. I'm gonna take it on the road up a one way street. is a little bit too weak for an adult. Kind of funny. It'd be great for a kid though. He 
you probably don't want a kid going as fast as the modern lithium-ion brushless DC motors can go. So this is just on or off. It's just like a little limit switch. Now let's test the brakes. Okay, yeah, it can lock up the back. I find it funny how there's still, to this day, these little brushed DC motors in some of these little kits. It's a shame they waste power, but oh well. Look at that oil has gone around the chain quite well. It would be nice to open this up and lubricate the bearings, but I presume it doesn't really need it too much. Well, darn. I guess that was a simple fix. Thank you, Lightime, for sending me these batteries, because I know once I figure out what price I want to put on this on Craigslist, I bet somebody will jump at it because the lithium iron phosphate batteries, that's going to just make it so much better. You know, you, you see a few listings every so often of people that put new lead acid batteries in them, but you know they're going to go bad or they're already bad. You know, one of those like works when put away kind of situations. But, and thank you for my friend who wanted me just to 3D print something, well, a customer that wanted me to 3D print something. And uh, not only did they give me the $10 for the part, you know, it was only like $3 in plastic, but they also gave me this and some German electronics, some a VCR, all sorts of little things. So that's pretty cool. And then tomorrow is my chance to give back to people in the area. That's going to go to my friend. And uh, he does, he's a little too old to have a, a YouTube channel, but he's going to put that thing to good use. And if it ends up being too heavy for him, I might swap him out with a 100 amp hour battery. But I think that'd be a good one. He can, he can have that in the back of his car. Maybe he can have solar panels at home that he plugs in and he can have power anywhere. And uh, he can bring, bring it on the job site. Okay, let's get this thing back together. I'm not happy with that. I plan to reveal this in a future video, but as part of my repair shop, hardware store thing, I've started going through and organizing every bit of hardware and I love it. So, let's see. It might be nice for these to stick up a bit. That's actually not enough of a stick out though. Ah, there we go. You might not be able to see it, but that green side of the Brillo pad left all these fibers on here, so that's unfortunate. I'm just going to try to 
pick those off. Actually, I might want to do that and then scrub it. Well, everyone, it's been a few hours and this has dried off. I'm going to give it a wipe down with a microfiber cloth. I'm going to clean up some more sections, turn it upside down, really give it, get it clean. So whoever gets it next will hopefully, mm, it'll be mostly clean. Sorry, I just realized, you know, I should probably go out and shoot another shot of uh, me riding past the camera. Well, that's pretty much that. I just wanted to get another shot of me using it. There we go. That, that felt like that was the proper clip I should have gotten. See, I feel a little bit bad because a very nice neighbor came over and and uh, and said to me, you're the person trying to open a hardware store, right? Do you need some old things? I was like, sure. So we went over to his house and I spent a few hours looking through some old stuff and well, he just has tons of beautiful old tools like this. So I got distracted and he's gonna bring over a whole bunch of stuff whenever he moves out stuff he's had since the 70s and well now i'm back to this i'm like you know what let's call it there on that i'll clean it up whenever i sell it or give it away to somebody and that's a perfectly nice little tool now i'm interested in this hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching all right i shouldn't focus on that that's for another video see ya okay now i can play with this and this does work, so... Hmm.